Hi, well, yes, these were state-sponsored rallies today, and they were scheduled to take place all over the country in over a 1,000 towns and cities. And what we saw is, according to the Iranian State News Agency, these were protests that were pre-planned. They were meant to mark the end of the 2009 anti-government protests, that in a sign of solidarity with the current leadership. Now, there were around 4,000 people on the streets of Tehran alone, demonstrators there carrying flags and banners supporting Iran's supreme leader. But there were also reports of other anti-government protests starting up again for a third day running, some of those in Tehran. Social media posts showed an anti-government gathering, a very small one outside Tehran University, with people there chanting anti-government slogans. and unverified video on Twitter appears to show some of those demonstrators being arrested. Now, these protesters reportedly were later outnumbered by pro-government counter-demonstrators. Now, to put this in a bigger picture, as you say, there have been several other spontaneous protests against the government around the country in recent days, like this one in Kermanshah on Friday. Now, these are not huge, but they have sprung up in several places. They started as demonstrations against rising prices of basic foods and some other shortages. But these protests have quickly turned political with chants heard against the government. And some people also angry, apparently, about the Iranian government's involvement in other conflicts in the region, such as Syria, Iraq and Yemen. And social media is also showing several of these protests ending in violent clashes with police. According to authorities, at least 50 people have been detained so far, although Iranian state TV is saying that most of those people have now been released. But the Iranian authorities have described these anti-government protests as illegal. They've also warned against using social media to organize further demonstrations. Now, in a response from the White House in a tweet, President Trump has called on the Iranian government to respect the rights of the people to protest. That tweet was condemned by Iran's government. Now, political protests are fairly rare in Iran, but the country is now facing high unemployment and high inflation. Leland. All right. Kitty Logan there in London. Kitty, thank you.